Like we haven't done a need in forever. Bro. We haven't. It's been so long. But I feel like it's just... It's so good to see her still thriving. Um, I know this video was older uh, years ago. But it's still good to see, you know, current stuff from them, current stuff from her. To see them, her thriving through, you know, continuing to make music. Um, you never know, I guess, what happens to some of these artists. At least the fact that we don't fully get a chance to react as much as we want to to some of the stuff. Because um, believe it or not, um, essentially when we came back, our idea was to start and this is this is to all the anita fans all the fans that have different types of music in general aside from k-pop i feel like we express this time and time again but some people just don't I, I, maybe you guys don't watch all of our videos and that's what it kind of it, i don't want to say it, it does hurt because we try to be upfront and let you guys know what happens with a lot of this stuff and we just hope that people kind of just take not only what they request but actually take what we put out and take the time out to watch a lot of this stuff especially reviews because we do give a lot of informative information when it comes to certain things but we also have put out videos and you know left stuff in the community when it comes to a lot of other these these other artists even some k-pop artists but for the most part k-pop is more accepting than anybody else a lot of this stuff gets blocked and we spend so much time trying to make it get unblocked that it wastes time for other videos k-pop is probably one of the only genres that we know of so far that has allowed us to consistently post without being it'll demonetize the video but it won't block it so um it it's just very well, not, hard. Not, I'm sorry for the choice of words, but not necessarily demonetize. I mean, because I mean, it's, it's basically the same thing. But I think demonetize is more so like if we were monetized, like we were able to get monetized for it. Like demonetize, like they took it away from us. Like we won't get monetized at all. Like it's not, it's not. They'll they'll just take it. Like so, it's not really. It won't get monetized basically. So I mean, I just yeah yeah. That's what I meant. Um, like the video, we're not able to get like so. I guess demonetize means if we if it was already monetized and then it got taken down and basically demonetized um but these videos are essentially not able to get monetized so um but on top of that a lot of these other artists around the world a lot of the uh, Uni united states or a lot of our artists they get blocked and it's just very extremely difficult to get the video out almost to where it's a headache where it's like it just it gets to a point where it's like yo forget it we and gotta we gotta keep going we and it might even take the viewing experience away from you guys as far as what the video could possibly look like we'll have to you know do certain things to edit the video to make it look like we can put it out there but it's gonna give a bad viewing experience for you guys watching it as far as you seen the video so e even though we know you guys already have seen the video we still know that it still enhances the viewing experience when you can watch it over again with us to know exactly what we're reacting to but then we just have to edit it so much and then it becomes just bad so with that being said um you know it's it's we kind of just left it alone so when we do get other reaction requests it's almost like ah you know sh should we could we you know because it's time that we have to take out of our day and of course we love we love our fans in different places different areas and we would never want to neglect you guys it's just very hard sometimes but um with that being said we can hope we hope this can get out we hope you know if we do have future requests for other artists that they can get out but i think that we are going to maybe try here and there to try to do other artists but once again if it gets blocked um and when he says other artists he means necessarily other genres other genres other artists in different genres um but if it does get blocked then it's just going to be something to where we kind of just you know decide to cut it off because we did we had a couple videos that we actually did that were different genres of different artists and we were going to put those out both of them got blocked immediately and it's like all right bro just forget it like we i don't know what it is to where these Whoever it is behind these accounts that have this type of, um, that do this, but everything in K-pop does it. It almost, to me, makes them a lot bigger because a lot more people are able to take reaction videos and react to their stuff. But these other artists, they don't get as globally known as they could because they get blocked in different countries. They get blocked in certain countries. They get blocked in all countries or just, it's too much. Uh, so, and also to just add that real quick, we're gonna get into the video. Just to add add that real quick into perspective, we did um, we did Stray Kids, but we did it with Lil Durk. 
that video never saw the light of day because it's Little Dirk's video. And whoever works, whoever is, is part of Little Dirk's company, we, we weren't allowed to put that video out. That video was already recorded and ready to be shown. But like I said, when we went to go upload it, it kept getting partially blocked, partially blocked, partially blocked, partially blocked to where we couldn't put it out. And that's because it came from Little Dirk's company or whatever they had. And that's nothing against them. It's just that when it's solely K-pop, it, it can be posted and done the way we do it. That's right. And that's why we we have been doing so much k-pop because it's easier to get work done and to get progression going as far as other genres like even we did tyler water that never saw a lot of day either because it got blocked and so it's like you wouldn't be able to see that either so it's like we tried to go do that but it's like you know with k-pop they had this thing to where it's like it's okay if you guys do reactions every genre other than k-pop they're like eh, we don't want you guys touching that it's considered ours and if we see any video or any song it's gonna get blocked it's not even gonna get monetized it's and i'm getting it's not gonna get unmonetized it's just gonna get blocked period like it's not going it's not coming out so, so you'll see the review come out because that doesn't have any any cop any song or anything in there but as far as the reaction it'll get blocked so we just know we have tried and we're gonna keep trying but at the same time this is a message to everybody that thinks we do not try we have tried in the past and if you watch our videos from start to finish you'll see us slowly decline with the with the uh, other genres of, of, of video so yeah so with that being said um as far as the video um never heard of peso puma uh definitely felt like this song was a vibe um for the sake of the video i definitely liked the whole environment feel that they gave off to me it kind of gave the matrix um like when they were all dancing in zion i don't know if you know kind of just like a whole bunch of people everywhere just kind of enjoying the experience mm -hmm. um, i was trying to get the correlation between maybe the black with the people having on as far as the black mm -hmm. what that might have symbolized but i definitely felt like overall um we tried to put the captions on there were no captions for this video in english so we couldn't really understand what they were saying but as far as how the song was going and the fact that um the sake of the video even him crumping in the water i felt like that was dope mm -hmm. i wish he would have and this is something small um when he fell back in the water it seemed like he kind of braced himself i kind of wish like it was more like a, just a let go mm. and i feel like maybe it just might have been shallow because he probably didn't want to hurt himself which is fine and, um and I, I, honestly i wanted to touch on that too because i felt like it was kind of like two different pools because it's like if you look at anita she kind of had her knees like like knees dancing in the, in the what you come like knee deep like on her knees and you can see her like from her knees up with just a little bit of water mm -hmm. but his at least had enough water to attempt to do something like that see i feel like it was the same just probably was more because that's why i could feel like he braced instead of just falling straight back i feel like he braced to kind of catch himself so he didn't hurt himself well if you if you look closely the way he was dancing in the water like the water was like almost up to his his like chest mm -hmm. like stomach area but mm -hmm. then, like i said if you look at anita like when she was kneeling in it mm -hmm. it was literally at her knees like, well the thing is they probably could have put something in it like i said true i mean i, I just think it was uh, two different type of things I, I feel like it was just they both were different so um but yeah yeah i felt like that was dope um especially with him with the whole crumping i feel like anita just gives this thing to where she just she just is very good at knowing how to be sexy with her body and you know just her looks and i feel like you know she's going to continue to thrive in the music industry as far as like the music she puts out and even um with all her songs i feel like everything to me was always something that has been good like just mm -hmm. you know i can feel a vibe within it mm -hmm. so i feel like for that um it was it was cool it was chill mm -hmm. i definitely feel like it's a song that could get thrown on a playlist for something that i just wish that they had the the subtitles to where we could know what the song was about mm -hmm. um, so all the anita fans if you guys can tell us um shouts out to everybody in brazil um i know you guys always kind of just try to get us to do more anita um uh but yeah i felt like this was dope man mm -hmm. um, a, a dope song yeah i liked it i thought i thought it was chill um I like the whole concept of, of the video. I feel like it, I could, I could, I could see it being like some type of like Zion thing as far as the Matrix, what he was saying. But I liked it, man. I thought, I thought it was creative in a sense. Like I said, I do wish we also got the um, the subtitles. I don't, I don't know necessarily what was going on. Like I didn't know if he was like, I don't know, like if it was a thing to where everybody was like following him to where he was like some type of like leader or something like that, like mm -hmm. in a, like some type of underground world or something like mm -hmm. that, and um. But I liked it. I liked it for the concept of the video as far as how the video looked. And just, you know, different things about it. Like as far as um, 
like I said, everybody having an all black, them having a certain color. And I don't know. At one point, it seemed like everybody was kind of going with the way Anita was moving her body. It seemed like everybody was matching her vibe. Like, beat is like, or just her vibe. Like, like, like if her hips were moving this way, it seemed like everybody was like moving that way or something. I thought yeah, that, they, they, I thought that was dope too. They had this one part in the video where everybody was rocking side to side. I feel like stuff like that in unison is always going to look tough to me. And I think in general, it's just always dope to see these if not ideas come together, if just to see these environments be portrayed. Like, yeah. it's like, where are y'all at? Like, For real. It's like, where where does like this the, take place to where it's like, you know, almost like an underground thing. And I know people on sets, they can do anything now, but it's just like cool to see that. It's like, I went under somewhere to be in like this little, like little chill, like underground place to where it's like, y'all like leaders or something. I, I don't know. My like, thing is if you can mock up a set to make it look like that, that is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like for it to be mocked up and, and made within a matter of how, who knows how long, it doesn't matter. Just the fact that it can be created. But if it wasn't, I feel like it's still phenomenal because mm -hmm. like you get to experience being in a place where, who knows, like you said, who knows where that's at. Mm -hmm. I know hey. they got this one guy on, I just wanna say this, this is real quick. I got this one guy on Instagram that I seen, I forgot his name, but he's on this page that I have. Um, he can actually take any type of setting and he can find it. Like he can literally, I don't know how he does it. Like he triangulates or whatever. He matches up certain areas with color hues and whatever, but he'll mm. take, he can literally find either where a video or any video was being shot mm. or where it was created. Mm. Like he just knows how to, like he's like, oh, He'll have somebody make a video. It might be something old, like the little, um, maybe a lot of like old memes and stuff to where you see like, it was like probably like 20 years ago. Mm. And he's like, oh, you think I can't find that? He puts in his computer, literally looks at certain angles and certain points, like the, the, but, but the my, size of the curb. But my thing is, finds it. my thing is too with that, and it's not to get off topic, but my thing with that too, it's like AI can do so much now too, as far as like, like certain things and i say that to say because it was even a point in time where some, like a co-worker mom was like where the f like i want this like a uh, sweater that's in the window but she was like i can't like i can't i can't find it on the internet anywhere mm -hmm. i don't know where it's at and i was like i bet you i could find it mm -hmm. and all i did was take a picture of it and then i used my phone to to Certainly. find other pictures that look just like it and then they told me exactly what it was so i feel like he kind of probably has something like that or he does it to where it's like he has it to where he has a certain search engine to where he can oh, yeah. triangulate stuff. But I also feel like it's a part of like just just having the right tools to be like, oh, find this picture that looks like this picture that, you know, it's not the only one that's in the world. Like, uh -huh. So it's like, we'll, we'll, the internet, like, okay, we'll find it. Like, uh -huh. So I think that's, it's just dope in, in a sense. So Yeah, but I think with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Shout out to Anita. Shout out to Peso Puma. Um, of course, like we said, if we got more, we can get this out. You know, if this video does make it out. Um, if there are no copyrights or anything against it, no, you know, partially blocked, then we'll definitely continue to do more. But yeah, guys, it, always just be mindful that it could possibly not come out. So, yeah. With that being said, too, also guys, like I said, send us some more stuff, you know, send, so we can react to a bunch of more stuff. Uh, we have also too, if you can, if you can fact check it to where, at least if you're gonna re request these reactions make sure that it's somebody out there that might have reacted to it already just to maybe give us a clue that th there is a way we could react to it and also to watch how they did it too sometimes they could probably clip the viewing experience where it's not a good viewing experience for you but they can keep cutting the video off to where it's like you don't get to fully enjoy what they're trying to show yeah, if it it's just they're trying to put it out just to show it to you so. and if it happens to be like that then it's not something we really want to upload if we got to chop it up and cut out 20 different pieces of the video it ain't no sense of putting it out yeah you know, so to just put it on a different platform and watch it somewhere else yeah but, but that being said guys we're gonna go ahead and get on out of here as usual guys once again my name is kogan it's your boy kate and, and that's skull pack reacts, reacts.